What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mel, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Wednesday, April 12, 2017, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com, or yeah iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Star Wars icon Mark Hamill and Daisy Ridley appeared via video on Good Morning America Tuesday to reveal details of the Star Wars Force of Change fundraising campaign. Time to coincide with the original Star Wars movie's 40th anniversary. The event offers fans a chance to win unique prizes while raising money for UNICEF and the Starlight Children's Foundation. People who enter at omaze.com slash Star Wars will have the opportunity to win a different prize each week for four weeks, such as the chance to appear in the upcoming Untitled Han Solo movie, tickets to the world premiere of Star Wars The Last Jedi, or an overnight stay at the Skywalker Ranch. Lucasfilm's president, Kathleen Kennedy, said in a statement, In a year that we celebrate 40 years of the Star Wars saga, I continue to be inspired by the incredible generosity and charitable efforts of our fans. We are so proud of their tireless dedication to positively impact the lives of children and others around the world and hope this year's Force for Change campaign will offer a few of those wonderful fans an experience they will never forget. The A-Team and Rocky Three alum Mr. T was the third celebrity eliminated in Season 24 of Dancing with the Stars in Los Angeles Monday night. The 1980s icon said upon learning his fate, thank you. I said I couldn't dance, but I tried. I was surprised that y'all wanted me after seeing I couldn't dance, but thank you. It was a great experience. I enjoyed myself. Still in the running for the coveted Mirror Ball Trophy are ice skating champion Nancy Kerrigan, model and professional bull rider Bonner Bolton, pro football player Rashad Jennings, retired baseball player David Rose, singer-actress Erica Jane, Fifth Harmony member Normandy Cody, Bachelor star Nick Vale, one-time Glee cast member Heather Morris, and Olympic gymnast Simone Biles. Comedian Chris Kattan and entertainer Charo were previously booted from the competition this season. In a related story, Julian Huff says she can't wait to marry fiancé Brooks Latch. The 28-year-old dancer and television personality can help but gush over the 33-year-old hockey player in a hashtag Man Crush Monday post this week. Latch, uh, Huff captioned to a photo of Latch to her 3.6 million Instagram followers, hashtag MCM, holy mother of hotness, this is my man. She also added, but all sexiness aside, I am the luckiest girl in the world to have you by my side to live together. Can't wait to marry you. Hashtag love. Hashtag lucky me. Photograph at Corey T. Huff and Latch got engaged in August of 2015 after nearly two years of dating. The dancer told Entertainment Tonight in November that she and the Toronto Marlies player are hoping for a smaller wedding. She said of the planning, it's fun. We can do what we can, when we can. We're not too stressed about it. All we want is just to have our family and our closest friends there. The star also shared we set a date, so that's step one. We both want small and intimate, but I come from a very large family, so as small and intimate as it can get with my big family. Huff is a younger sibling of fellow dancer Derek Huff and has three other sisters, Catherine, Mary Beth, and Cherie. She came to fame as a pro on Dancing with the Stars and has served as a permanent judge since 2014. The country music drama Nashville has renewed for a 16-episode, sixth season to debut in early 2018. Rachel Bisson and Kathleen Doubleday will join the ensemble in the second half of season five, which is to kick off on CMT June 1st. Jeff Norling will also play a recurring role. CMT said in a press release the mid-season premiere picks up 10 weeks after the events that unfolded in the mid-season finale. Deacon helps Daphne with the school project, but Daphne feels unmotivated. Juliet gives Maddie unsolicited advice about a song. Scarlett and Gunnar receive news about the baby. Nashville stars Hayden Panettiere as Juliet Barnes, Claire Bowen as Scarlett O'Connor, Chris Carmack as Will Lexington, Charles Esten as Deacon Claiborne, Jonathan Jackson as Avery Barkley, Sam Palladito as Gunnar Scott, Maisie Stella as Daphne Conrad, and Lennon Stella as Maddie Conrad. Blake Lively says Ryan Reynolds played Let's Get It On while she was in labor. The 29-year-old actress said in a Glamour Games interview with Michael Kors that Reynolds chose the sexy Marvin Gaye song as she gave birth to one of their daughters. Uh, she said to Kors, 
while playing Fact or Fiction. My husband played Let's Get It On while I was in labor. My doctor was laughing so hard that I thought she was going to drop our baby. Lively and Reynolds married in 2012 and shared two daughters, two-year-old James and six-month-old Inez. The couple brought both of their children to Reynolds' Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony in December. The actor told Extra at the time, this is one of the rare occasions where we thought we could bring the whole clan. I regret it in 20 years if I didn't. Lively said earlier in the Glamour Games interview that her childhood crush was David Letterman because he, quote, had her dad's sense of humor. She also shared details about her first kiss. The star said, I was 16 and it was on camera. My first kiss was in a movie. I was just so terrified. Lively is known for playing Serena Vandura Woodson on Gossip Girl and has since starred in The Shallows and Cafe Society. She will next appear in All I See Is You with Jason Clark. Media mogul Oprah Winfrey has made her first visit to the talk, and the episode is set to air Monday, CBS announced. The daytime chat program is hosted by Julie Chen, Sarah Gilbert, Sharon Osbourne, Aisha Tyler, and Cheryl Underwood. Um, the network said in a press release during her first visit to the show, Winfrey will discuss her new HBO film, The Immoral Life of Henrietta Lacks. The film is told through the eyes of Deborah Lacks, who learns about the mother she never knew, Henrietta Lacks, and how the unauthorized harvesting of her mother's cancer cells in 1951 led to unprecedented medical breakthroughs that changed the face of medicine forever. The network said also she will talk about her new role as a special correspondent on a number one news broadcast on television, 60 Minutes on CBS and share intimate stories from behind the scenes of her award-winning talk show of 25 years, The Oprah Winfrey Show. Allison Steadman, Sir John Cleese, and Jason Watkins are set to star in a six-part comedy called Edith on the BBC. The British broadcaster said in press notes, For Edith, life is pretty good. She's been a widow for some years now, but her children live locally and drop by regularly, and she enjoys daily visits from Phil, an old boyfriend who now lives across the road. Uh, Stedman said in a statement Tuesday, I'm thrilled to be in Edith and working with such an amazing cast. Cleese added, there is the most enjoyable script I've been seeing in the last 100 years. It will also be particularly nice to work with Allison again since we joined forces in Clockwise all that time ago. Uh, Shane Allen, the BBC's controller of comedy commissioning, says... If you had Carte Blanche on your fantasy BBC One comedy cast, then you'll not be far off the Edith lineup. It is a huge pleasure to welcome John Cleese back to the land of BBC sitcom. His last one did all right. This is the cream of British talent giving the BBC One audience the very best comedy on television. Edith is written by Ch Charles McKinnon, a frequent collaborator of Terry Gilliam, Cleese's fellow Monty Python comedy troupe member. It is being directed by Sandy Johnson. Daily Show correspondent and comedian Hassan Mijan will host the White House Correspondents' Dinner. White House Correspondent President and Routers uh, White House Correspondent Jeff Mason announced Tuesday Mijan will host the annual event to celebrate the First Amendment and freedom of the press. Mason said, I'm thrilled that Hassan will serve as our featured entertainer at this year's White House Correspondents' Dinner. Hassan's smart, big heart, and passion for press freedom makes him the perfect fit for our event, which will be focused on the First Amendment and the importance of a robust and independent medium. Mijan will be performing for a, a group consisting of press corps, celebrities, and White House staffs, as President Donald Trump announced in February that he will not attend the dinner in Washington, D.C. on April 29th. Jean expressed his honor to be chosen to host the event while also poking fun at the format of Trump's tweets while discussing the fact that the president will not be in attendance. Jean said, it is a tremendous honor to be a part of such a historic event, even though the president has chosen not to attend this year. Sad. Now more than ever, it is vital that we honor the First Amendment and the freedom of the press. Mason says Mijan's experience with fake news on The Daily Show will help him provide an important perspective outside of making jokes at Trump's expense and in his absence. Mason said it is a different dinner. President Trump has said that he will not be coming, but we will still be celebrating the First Amendment and the importance of a free press. I was looking for somebody who is funny and who is entertaining because I want the dinner to be entertaining. Jean previously spoke at the 2016 Radio and Television Correspondents' Dinner. Disgraced comedian Bill Cosby's Little Bill stories for children were among the most challenged books in U.S. libraries last year, the American Library Association announced. The LAA said the series was number nine on its 2016 list of most challenged books, not because of the content of the tales themselves, but because of criminal sexual allegations against the author. 
Cosby recently was accused of sexually abusing dozens of women over the course of several decades. He has denied all wrongdoing. Topping the most recent LAA roster of challenge books is This One Summer, written by Mariko Tameki and illustrated by Jillian Tameki. It was challenged because it included LGBT characters, drug use, and profanity, and it was considered sexually explicit with mature themes. Challenges against books were up 17% in 2016 compared to 2015. Many of the books challenged in 2016 contained sexual scenes or gay or transgender characters. Ashton Kutcher says his cheating scandal ultimately helped build character. The 39-year-old actor addressed his reported infidelity to ex-wife Demi Moore while accepting the 2017 Robert D. Ray Pillard of Character Award at Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Kutcher said, I'm probably the first guy to get this award who had a deferred judgment for felony burglary for trying to break into my high school. I'm also probably the first person to get this award for character who has had his name splashed across every gossip magazine as an adulterer like five years ago. He later added, character comes when those magazines tear you apart for something you may or may not have done, and you got to go out and perform tomorrow with everybody looking at you like you might be an adulterer. Kutcher allegedly cheated on Moore on their sixth wedding anniversary in September 2011. A rumor actor Scott Eastwood appeared to confirm on Watch What Happens Live in 2015. Kutcher and Moore split in November 2011 and finalized the divorce in 2013. The actor said in his speech, I had the great fortune of getting a divorce because I felt the impact of it and I felt how much loss is in there and how much love is in there and that is not neat or clean or messy, and I understood finally my parents' divorce in a whole different way. Kutcher has since married that 70s show's co-star Mila Kunis and shared two-year-old daughter Wyatt and four-month-old son Dimitri with the actress. He says in November that he lives in Eberness following his split from Moore. Chris Pratt says he's grateful to have wife Anna Ferris by his side. The 37-year-old actor dedicated a sweet post on Instagram to Ferris and 4-year-old son Jack after the pair joined him in Tokyo for his Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2 press tour. Pratt captioned a photo of himself with Ferris. Thank you for the support, honey. You look so beautiful. These press tours can be such a whirlwind. I'm grateful to have you and the boy with me on this one. He also added, although it's 3 a.m. right now, I was just awakened by a square kick to the back as Little Man climbed into the bed, and it must have had a karate dream or something, and now I can't sleep. I'm on Insta instead. All your dads and moms know what I'm talking about. Pratt, director James Gunn, and co-star Zoe Zaldan and Dave Bautista promoted the, Guardi the Guardian sequel Monday and Brilia Running Stadium in Tokyo. The actor shared a photo earlier in the day of himself and Ferris joking around at their hotel. He captioned a snapshot of himself standing behind a mirror with Ferris's reflection. My favorite outfit so far. Hashtag uh, got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Hashtag Tokyo. Pratt and Ferris married in 2009 after two years of dating and welcomed Jack in August 2012. The actor surprised Ferris in December with an enormous engagement ring upgraded, which she showed off at the Los Angeles premiere of Passengers. The actor gushed to E! News at the time. He's an incredible romantic man, and I'm very, very lucky. Pratt plays Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord, in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which opens in theaters May 5th. Ferris portrays Christy Plunkett on the CBS sitcom Mom, which was renewed for a fifth season in March. New details emerge Monday about Bradley Cooper and Irina Shayek's first child. The 42-year-old American actor and 31-year-old Russian model welcomed a baby girl they named Leah Desain Shayek Cooper, according to E! News. News Cooper and Shayek were expecting broke in November after the model was spotted with a slight baby bump during the 2016 Victoria's Secret fashion show. People reported Sunday that the model gave birth to a daughter two weeks ago. A source told E! after word broke, they're both extremely thrilled and feel so blessed. Shayek was spotted with mom Olga Shaganechenov at a farmer's market Thursday in Los Angeles and stepped out again over the weekend in Venice Beach. E! News reported in December that the model and Cooper plan to have more children. An insider said, Bradley and Irina uh, love each other so much, and this is not going to be the only kid. There will be a few more after this one. Cooper will reprise Rocket in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and will also voice the characters in Avengers Infinity War. Shayek is known for her modeling work with Victoria's Secret and Sports Illustrated. First time mom to be Jay Roper showed off her baby bump at 17 weeks pregnant. The 30 year old reality star flaunted her growing belly on Instagram after announcing she's expecting with husband and Bachelor in Paradise co star Tanner Tolbert. Uh, she captioned a photo of herself holding her bump. 
baby or burrito or both. I think we know the answer here. Hashtag always hungry. Hashtag unbutton my pants. Hashtag 17 weeks pregnant. Roper shared the picture from a trip to Malibu Wine Safari with Tolbert. She followed up by posting a snapshot of herself cuddling up to Tolbert with the Saddle Rock Ranch and Vineyard in the background. She wrote, I didn't drink wine, but I got to pet all the animals on the safari tour, and I got to spend it with this guy, so I'm all smiles. Hashtag bucket list. Robert and Tolbert completed The Bachelor Season 19 and The Bachelorette Season 11, respectfully, before meeting and getting engaged on Bachelor in Paradise Season 2. The couple married in January 2016 and shared their baby news in March. Roper tweeted on March 8th, We're crazy grateful to finally announce a little secret we've been keeping. We're absolutely heading over heels in love already. Roper and Tolbert have appeared on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars since Bachelor in Paradise. The couple split their time between Kansas City and Los Angeles. Camilla Ludington is a first-time mom. The 33-year-old English actress announced in an Instagram post Tuesday that she recently welcomed daughter Hayden with boyfriend Matthew Allen. She captioned a clip of herself with the family. We have a new great love in our lives, our sweet baby girl Hayden. Ludington confirmed in October that she was expecting with Alan, an actor who last appeared in the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. She later shared that she was expecting a baby girl. The actress who voiced Laura Craft in Crystal's uh, Dynamics Tomb Raider video games captioned a photo of herself with the Tomb Raider in training onesie. I'm so excited to announce today that I'm having a girl. Uh, she also added, I want her to grow up knowing how strong women are, to be a little warrior who is not afraid to use her voice and stand up for what she believes is right, to navigate through life with courage and kindness. Langton is known for playing Joe Wilson on Grey's Anatomy, which is in the midst of its 13th season on ABC. Co-star Ellen Pompeo told Variety in March that the show will end when she's ready to stop. Pop rock singer Brendan Urie will star on Broadway this summer. 29-year-old Panic at the Disco frontman confirmed in a tweet Tuesday that will make his Broadway debut as Charlie Price in the musical Kinky Boots. He wrote on his band's account, about to take a lifelong dream and head to Broadway, excited to join at Kinky Boots uh, Broadway this summer as Charlie Price. See y'all in New York. You will play Charlie at the Art Hirschfield Theater in New York from May 26th to August 6th, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Jay Harrison Glee will co-star as Lola and Taylor Lauterman as Lauren. Yuri said in a statement, I'm thrilled to be making my Broadway debut with this fantastic company. I'm a huge fan of Kinky Boots and musical theater, and I'm honored to be joining the cast. Kinky Boots is based on the 2005 movie of the same name, which follows Charlie, a young man who forms an unlikely partnership with drag queen Lola to save his father's shoe factory. Cindy Lauper wrote the music and lyrics with the book by Harvey Feinstein. Yuri is the sole remaining original member of Panic at the Disco, which he helped form in 2004. The band last released the album Death of a Bachelor in January 2016, which included the singles Hallelujah and Victorious. Michael Bublé's wife says their eldest son is well following a battle with cancer. Argentinian actress Luisiana Lupato gave an update on Noah, her three-year-old son, with Bublé at a press conference for her movie Those Who Love Hate, Monday in Buenos Aires. Lupiato said in Spanish, thank God my son is well, according to the Daily Express. When things like that, like those ha that happen to us occur, your take on life challenge uh, changes. Now I value life much more than now and the today. She also added, my son's recovery is a long process, as you all know, and he has to continue with checkups, but we're very happy. We're looking forward to thinking about the future, seeing our children grow. Seeing Noah grow and be happy gave me the strength to return and finish this film. Buble and Lupilato also share 14-month-old son Elias announced in November that Noah, the youngest, was diagnosed with cancer. Buble said in February that doctors were optimistic about Noah's chances to beat the disease. The 41-year-old singer shared in a statement February 3rd, We're so grateful to report that our son Noah has been progressing well during his treatment, and the doctors are very optimistic about the future of our little boy. He also added he has been brave throughout and continued to be inspired by his courage. We thank God for the strength he has given all of us. Bublé last released the album Nobody But Me in October, which included his single off the same name. In addition to those who love ha hate, Lupilato will star in the movies Fair Market Value and The Predeterminados. 
Katy Perry laughed off rumors Monday that she and Ryan Phillippe are dating. The 32-year-old singer jokingly replied to Phillippe on Twitter after the 42-year-old af- actor angrily denied that they are a couple. Perry fatigiously wrote before adding, Can you let me out of this ba- miss basement, please? Hi, nice to meet you. Sorry about that. At Ryan Phillippe, carry on. LOL. Phillippe had posted a frustrated tweet the day prior after reportedly being hounded by par- paparazzi at home. His message file reports that he and Perry were flirting at Elton John's 70th birthday party in March. The actor wrote, I am not dating Katy Perry, barely know her. Please stop flying helicopters over my house. She is not here. Philippi and fiancé Paulina Glater ended their engagement in November after five years of dating, while Perry split from boyfriend Orlando Bloom in February after more than a year together. The singer later denied rumors of hard feelings between herself and Bloom. She tweeted on March 2nd, how about a new way of thinking for 2017? You can still be friends and love your former partners. No one's a victim or a villain. Get a life, y'all. Yeah. Passing to report. John Warren Giles, who in the 1960s formed the popular Jay Giles Band that produced the hits Centerfold and Love Stinks in the 1980s, was found dead in his Groton, Massachusetts home Tuesday. He was 71. Groton Police Chief Donald Palma confirmed Giles' death to the Boston Globe in an email. He has passed. The band is best known for its album Freeze Frame and the song Centerfold, which hit number one for six weeks. Giles formed the band during his time at the Worcester Polytechnic Institute, where he studied mechanical engineering with Danny Klein, Magic Dick Swaltzitz, Stephen Joe Bad, and Peter Wolf, with Seth Justman becoming the last member uh, before the band released its debut album in 1970. The band has been nominated four times for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. According to their Facebook page, the band starred as an acoustic blues trio in the 1960s as Snoopy and the Soap with Camels. The band officially split in 1985, but began to play the occasional reunion show in 1999. Giles officially quit the group in 2012 and sued his bandmates for co-inspiring to go on tour without him and unlawfully using the band's trademark name. In the mid-90s, Giles released two albums with his band Blues Time, and during the 2000s, he returned to his jazz roots with three solo records. Giles was 71. And finally, Drake and the Chainsmokers are each up for 22 Billboard Music Awards, setting a new record for the most nominations in a single year. 21 pilots followed with 17 nods, and Rihanna earned 14. Winners will be announced at a ceremony to be broadcast live on ABC (coughs) at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas on May 21st. The nominees for top artists are Adele, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, The Chainsmokers, Drake, Ariana Grande, Shawn Mendes, Rihanna, 21 Pilots, and The Weeknd. For top new artists, the nominees include Alicia Cara, designer Lil Uzi Vert, Lucas Graham, and Zayn. For top male artists, the nominees include Justin Bieber, Drake, Future, Shawn Mendes, and The Weeknd. For top female artists, the nominees include Adele, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Rihanna, and Sia. For top duo group, the nominees include The Chainsmokers, Coldplay, Flora Georgia Line, Guns N' Roses, 21 Pilots. For the top two, Billboard 200 album, nominees include Beyonce's Lemonade, Drake's View, Rihanna's Anti, 21 Pilots' Blurry Face, and The Weeknd's Starboy. For the top soundtrack cast album, the nominees include Hamilton, and American Musical, Maona, Purple Rain, Suicide Squad, The Album, and Trolls. For the top Hot 100 song, the nominees include The Chainsmokers featuring Halsley with Closer, The Chainsmokers featuring Die with Don't Let Me Down, Drake featuring Wizkid and Kylo with One Dance, Justin, B, uh, Justin Timberlake with Can't Stop the Feeling, and 21 Pilots with Heathens. And as your entertainment report for Wednesday, April 12, 2017, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the entertainment report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.